So let's um, start with our first uh, practice analysis. This is a AP cranium projection. Uh, we could have collimated, obviously, uh, but this is a child, so I assume that they were afraid the child was going to move, but we do have positioning devices to assist with that. So let's get into it. At first glance, you can tell there's some type of rotation, but how do we determine what the uh, rotation is and um, if uh, and if the patient was adequately positioned as far as OML alignment. First, we're going to look at the lateral borders of the uh, orbital margins to the lateral cranial cortices. We can see that they are in this projection on the right side are greater than um, uh, the same distances on the left which indicates that the patient's head was rotated towards the left. Now we're going to take a look at our uh, relationship between our peaches ridges and the superorbital margins. Um, you can see that the peaches ridges are demonstrated inferior to the superorbital margins indicating that the OML is not perpendicular with the IR. So in order to correct this, we need to rotate that patient's face toward the right side so that the MSP is aligned perpendicular to the IR and adjust the OML so that it is aligned perpendicular to the IR to obtain an uh, adequate image. In our um, second practice analysis, this is a PA projection of the cranium. Again, there should be some collimation here because we don't need the mandible on this projection. But let's start with the two, um, two uh, positioning errors that we need to identify. Is there rotation? And um, when looking at this image, the lateral cranial cortices and the uh, lateral orbital mar margins are symmetric. So in my mind, I'm going to say no, there is no rotation. However, I do believe we have an OML alignment um, issue here. And because by looking at the relationship of the peaches ridges, um, they are demonstrated inferior to the supraorbital margins. Um, also, um, the dorsum cellae and anterior clinoids are demonstrated within the ethmoid sinuses. This means we have insufficient um, chin tucking here. So in order to correct this, we need to align the um, uh, OML perpendicular to the IR. This will move your uh, peaches ridges um, to be between or in the, in the appropriate uh, uh, spot. So let's look at this AP projection of the cranium. Again, it's a child. Typically, you will do these on children. Uh, or this projection AP. Um, at first glance, everything is superimposed upon itself. Um, we could collimate again, um, but we're here to look at um, anatomical misalignments. So when looking at this, first guess you should be able to determine that we have some excessive chin tucking here. Our peaches ridges are demonstrated proximal to the supraorbital margins. The internal cuspid meatus are skewered. Um, the dorsum cellae and anterior clinoids are clearly visualized superior to the ethmoid sinuses. Um, so the biggest key takeaway is looking at your relationship of your peaches ridges to the supraorbital margins. If they're superior, then you have excessive chin tucking. You need to uh, readjust the head so that the OML is aligned perpendicular with the IR. 
In this PA cranium projection, it's just another demonstration of excessive chin tucking. Uh, the petrous ridges are again demonstrated uh, superior to the supraorbital mar margins, throwing um, you know your anatomy to be obscured and um, your dorsum cellae and anterior cl clinoids are visualized superior to your ethmoid sinuses. So again, align that, realign that OML perpendicular to the IR to get an adequate image. In our last image analysis here, this is a PA mandible projection. Um, this we might have collimated a little bit more. This, looking at this image, we're going to look at for rotation. So we want to look at those lateral um, uh, cranial cord cortice margins to the um, lateral orbital margins, and they look sufficient. So we don't have rotation, but there is some OML uh, misalignment here. Uh, your petrous ridges are demonstrated. Uh, inferior to the superior orbital margins. And so this should allow you to know that we had some insufficient chin tucking. Um, you're just going to readjust the patient, tuck the chin so that the OML is perpendicular to the IR in order to um, achieve the adequate um, projection. If there's any questions or concerns, we can talk about it in clinic or you can email me. Thank you for participating in the presentation.